Hi friends, today's story time story is called My Apron by Eric Carle. In this picture, you see a boy wearing a white apron. Sometimes people wear aprons when they're cooking or doing an art project or if they're doing other special projects. We'll find out why he's wearing an apron in the story when we open it up and take a look. This story is from Scholastic Books and just like the other stories this week, this one is by Eric Carle. Something that's one of my favorite things about Eric Carle is that the page before the first page of the story, he always has some sort of artwork where he displays some of his creativity and lots of bright colors. It looks like this one, he did some horizontal lines and then he did some squiggles with a wooden stick or something that would make an impression in the paint. I bet you guys can make paintings like this too. So here's the story, it's called My Apron. And this doesn't look like the little boy anymore. It's a grown up. We're gonna find out who this grown up is and why he's wearing an apron. I see a shovel, a pail, some tools. We'll find out about them. My Uncle Adam, that's who that is, wears a white apron. The apron has a big pocket in the front. He's a plasterer. He plasters houses, inside and outside. I want a white apron with a pocket and I want to help my Uncle Adam. So look, he's making something on the walls. He's making them nice and flat and clean and ready to do whatever you need to do with the wall. My Aunt Elizabeth measures me. Look, she's using a measuring tape. She cuts a piece of cloth and sews an apron with a pocket for me. Wow, so he's with his Aunt Elizabeth and Uncle Adam. Thank you, Aunt Elizabeth. I love my apron. It's important to use your manners and say please and thank you. In the morning, my Uncle Adam and I go to work. They're both wearing their aprons. First, we mix a batch of plaster. Then my Uncle Adam asks me to carry the plaster up to the top floor so he can plaster the chimney. The chimney's right up here. It's from the fireplace. All morning I carry plaster up the stairs to my Uncle Adam. What a good helper he is. Thank you, says my Uncle Adam. You're a good helper. At lunchtime, my Uncle Adam and I sit down and eat and talk. It looks like they have sandwiches and apples and drinks. I think this is a special day for the little boy. All afternoon, I go up and down the stairs to carry plaster to my Uncle Adam. I am a good helper. Late in the afternoon, my Uncle Adam and I go home for supper. They're holding hands. Next year, I will help my Uncle Adam again. Then I will get a cap, just like my Uncle Adam. So first he wanted to get an apron like his Uncle Adam, and now he wants to get a hat just like his. And then at the end, there's a story where Eric Carl, the author, tells you that this is a real thing that happened to him. He would go and visit his Uncle Adam and Aunt Elizabeth, and he'd get to work with his uncle. Boys and girls, you know me as Miss Becca, but I'm also Auntie Becca. I'm an aunt just like Aunt Elizabeth in this story. And I love it when my nieces and nephews can come to visit and when I can play with them and when they can work with my husband. They call him Uncle Eric. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I did and have a great day. Bye.